Okay, so now that we have the background done, we are going to uh, actually make a uh, make objects for our game, the platforms themselves, um, in uh, a way called using tile sets. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a layer uh, over here, which um, I've actually already done. So I'm just going to delete that one so I can show you how to do it. Um, but to do it, uh, you just uh, now that we've done our background layer, we locked it, so it's the the solid black lock so you can't change anything on the background there we're going to right click and then go to add layer at the top so do that and it'll make a default layer called layer zero which we don't want to name that because that's not very helpful or descriptive we're just going to call it the main to be the main layer where basically all the other random stuff happens in our game okay so click on it and make sure that it's selected and now we're going to go into using tile sets uh, so before show you how to actually get it up here on your game I want to show you what a tile set file is so I'm looking at the folder that has uh, the different object or uh, image files for our game and I'm going to click on the one that says tiles you can see it's pretty big 2.2 ohms uh, oops, it came out over here so it just opened up in paint for me so I'm gonna show you that so you can see it's this very odd looking image that uh, is basically made up of a bunch of tiles. And uh, the first thing you may notice is it looks like it only has four tiles across and then one, two, three, four tiles down. But each of these four tiles are actually a set of nine. So in total, you actually have a 12 by 12 um, tile set here, which uh, will be useful for making and customizing the background and the platforms the way you want them to be made. Okay, so uh, we're going to be inputting that into our game. So what you're going to do again is double click on the uh, layout. I almost said background, but our background's locked, so we're not doing that. And then you're going to create a sprite. Okay, so sprites are basically the images, um, the objects for a lot of different things in our game. And you're going to insert. And then again, you get that plus cursor. So it doesn't, again, matter because you can move things. I'm just going to put it here. And you're going to come up with the animations editor. And now, instead of doing the load from image thing like we did before, uh, what we're going to do is actually do um, input uh, frames from our tile set. Okay. So we're going to be down here in this bottom window. Uh, you're going to use a right click again. and you don't want to just add a single frame. We're going to import frames. And then from here, we're going to import from a strip. Okay, because that file I showed you earlier has a whole bunch of tiles on it. So it's called um, a strip. And yeah, click on that. And now we just go up here to tiles, right? That same file that we had. And I'm not good at double clicking. Okay. And now here it says it thinks it's only a one by one, which uh, would give us this weird looking image again because we don't want that okay but we want to change this so we know that's 12 by 12 so I'm going to change it to 12 by 12 horizontal that's fine and then we're going to click import and now what we'll see is that it will come up with all I'm going to drag this up all the different tiles that we saw in that file thing before okay all the way down to 144 Right, 12 times 12, 144. Great. There's all my tiles. All right. So uh, what we're also going to do is change the speed because this right now thinks it's an animation with a bunch of frames for uh, some, you know, sprite that we're going to be putting in. But we're actually not going to be doing that. So we don't want it to change through all of these different frames so we're going to put speed down to zero okay and that's all we're going to do here so we're going to close it and now we have something called sprite over here and you see we have an empty box because it's actually showing the initial frame which was frame zero which was a blank frame that's why you don't see anything here um, but um what we're going to do is change the name from sprite because that's not helpful. We're going to call it tiles. 
okay, or just tile. So we know that's the tile that we're going to be using. And now, because this empty box is just boring, we're going to go over here to the properties uh, bar and we're going to change the initial frame. Again, we don't want to be at zero, uh, but we'll be down to, let's say, property, oops, not down, up to number one. And we see now all of a sudden our blank box is now a platform that we can have our little guys jumping off of later on. Okay. And you can cycle through all the different uh, tiles that we had uh, imported earlier. Okay, there's a whole bunch, 144, right? So I'm not going to go through all those. Um, but what we're going to do is actually re reset this one back to number one because that's the nice edge of our platform that we're going to use and we're going to duplicate this so an easy way is to actually just press control and uh, then click on this and drag and you'll see this it made a nice duplicate of that and we're going to do two of them so i'm going to have two of these that look the same okay this is an ugly platform obviously so what we have to do is actually change the frame that we're going to be showing so that it looks a little better. So the frame we're going to use is number 10, if I can get to it. There we go. And then for the side one is number 13, because I've already done this, so I'm just telling you right now. Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, that's right, that's what I forgot to do. Okay. All right, we're actually going to go back in to tile and I'm going to delete this first blank one because I don't want that. Okay so now our first tile zero is actually that one. Close that because we want this to be good. Frame number one, this to be frame 10, this is frame 13. Okay and then we can try and line this up manually which is super annoying. Ah. Forget it. All right. Anyway, the reason why I was showing you that you can do it manually is because that's annoying, and actually we don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to do something called snapping to grid. So if you click on the layout, so you're not um, no longer selecting the tile here, then uh, what you have is in the properties bar a bunch of different options. We're going to click snap to grid because that's easier. If you want, you can do show grid, and then it shows all the little boxes that your different um, tiles are going to be matched up in. Okay, so if you see here, I just did that and matches them up. If you need like more fine tuning of things, you can turn off snap to grid, grid, but for here we don't care. So I'm just going to do that, and there you go. And you turn off show grid, and now you have a beautiful platform right there. Okay. So the nice thing also about what you can do with that duplicate thing is you can select, if I get all of them, you can select the whole platform, and if I want to just duplicate the entire platform, I press Control, get a command, left click, and drag, and then I've created a whole nother platform very easily. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see this better. And then I can do it again, and do it however much I want. Oh, so many platforms. So wonderful. All right, and there you have it. That's how you take uh, a tile set and create objects out of them.